Hi guys, in the previous tutorial I created a cube to tree transformation with Blender and shape keys and in this one I will bring this into Unity. I extended the mesh a little bit and added a simple texture with a texturing technique that I use in my low poly tutorials. I rename the cube object to tree select it in object mode and choose file, export, fbx, we just need to export the mesh and the selected objects and press export fbx. In Unity I opened my low poly nature project and dragged the fbx into the projects folder. When importing the fbx you have to make sure to select importing with blend shapes. This is how the shape keys are called in Unity. After that you can just drag the new model into the scene and open the blend space section and here's our key one we created with Blender. And when you pull the slider to the right the shape is transformed, the value has a range from 0 to 100%. Some slight problem with the shading here but for the sake of this demonstration it's fine. Great, but now let's add a script to the game object and call it Scalar for example and then open it in Visual Studio and add a timer logic for increasing the blend space weight value. This will be called on startup and will fade in the shape key transformation. For the current value of the blend shape's weight I define a member variable of type float and call it msize. Then I use the method invoke repeating that calls a scale method every 10 milliseconds and in this scale method I check if we already reached the value of 100 for the size and if this is the case we just cancel the invoke of the scale method. If not I get the skinned mesh renderer of the game object and assign an increased value of the size. And we are done. Now let's start the game and have a look at the effect. Pretty cool and what you can do now is to drag this tree object to a prefabs folder so that you can reuse this object and drag it to the scene as many times as you like. And I think the scaling is a bit too fast so I go ahead and open the script again to set the timer to let's say 20 milliseconds. Okay, that looks nice. So guys, I really hope you liked this tutorial about shape keys with Unity and Blender. And if you do, then please don't forget to subscribe, consider supporting me on my Patreon, and I hope you come back soon to this channel to JNM.